It's the rubber game of a three-game series for the bragging rights of New York. With the score tied at the top of the 10th and John Olroot facing David Cohn, it's just a question now of who wants it more. The best and brightest stars are out tonight. It's been nip and tuck all game with the AL leading 2-1 to one in the top of the seventh. Randy Johnson is on the hill and Larry Walker is at bat. It's power versus power. Something's got to give. It's the calm before the storm with Tampa Bay's Wade Boggs up to bat and Fred McGriff on deck. It looks like the storm is about to hit full force. Hold on to your seats. This one could get wild. Chicago's down 4 nothing in the bottom of the eighth, and San Francisco looks like they're about to pour it on. Chicago needs this one to crawl out of the cellar. Can they stop the bleeding and rally for the win? Pittsburgh is holding on to a 5-3 lead and is one out away from putting this one away. But when Frank Thomas steps up to the plate, he can change the game with one swing of the bat. The bases are loaded. Can Chicago steal the win? It's the bottom of the eighth, and Kansas City is looking for a miracle to break their five-game losing streak. A desperate situation. Ace pitcher Kevin Napier is tiring, and the bullpen is shaky at best. Should he be pulled? Make a choice, Skipper. Hold on to your hats, folks. Winds as high as 55 miles an hour have been wreaking havoc in today's game. Florida is hoping to put the brakes on San Diego and hold them to a one-run lead. But will the winds blow Florida's way? It's the bottom of the ninth, and last year's pitching sensation Pedro Martinez is rolling with just three more outs to go for the complete game shutout. But with a slim one to nothing lead and the heart of the order coming up, can he pull it off? Taken 13 innings for San Fran to take the lead, but on the verge of victory, LA is coming back. The bases are loaded with no outs, and Mike Piazza is up, ready to rock. Can San Francisco hang on and escape the unlucky 13th? He's back! After a phenomenal season in Atlanta, Kenny Lofton has come back to Cleveland to a hero's welcome. It's the bottom of the eighth, and with runners on and the score tied, Kenny's eager to show them he's glad to be back. It's a battle of wills as we're in the bottom of the fifth of this matchup between baseball upstarts Colorado and Arizona. With no run score, the tension is mounting. This game could go either way. Hideki Arabu has been superhuman so far today, pitching a perfect game. Anaheim's Tim Salmon is determined to get a hit, but Hideki has him in the hole 0-2. Can Arabu finish him off and add his name to history? It's the top of the ninth, and it looks like St. Louis has got this one in the bag. But don't tell that to Jeff Bagwell. He doesn't know the word quit. And as they say, it ain't over till it's over.
With a 5 to nothing lead, Baltimore is acting like this one's in the win column. But in the bottom of the eighth, with two men already on base in a 3-0 count, they're playing with fire. Will they get burned by Oakland? It's the bottom of the eighth, and the bases are loaded. With Atlanta down two zip and time running out, they'll need someone to take command. Andres Galarraga wants to prove to his new team that they can count on him in the clutch. It's the top of the ninth, and Atlanta is throwing goose eggs at Montreal. Ace pitcher Greg Maddox is having a typical day at the office and is just three outs away from the victory. Will he be able to pull it off and keep the shutout? It's been a nail-biter so far, with Toronto clinging to a one to nothing lead in Milwaukee. But with only one out and runners on base, Milwaukee is on the move. It's going to be up to Toronto fireballer Randy Myers to keep them off the scoreboard. It's the Battle of the Titans as Mark McGuire and Ken Griffey Jr. are swinging for the fences. McGuire just recorded his 52nd home run of the season. Now with one out and the bases loaded, Griffey looks to go deep. No one ever expected Florida to make it into the world championship, let alone push it to extra innings in the seventh game. But the bases are loaded and Edgar Renteria is up to bat. Can the underdogs pull it off? An unexpected early cold snap has brought a record low of 25 degrees to Philadelphia. Not the best weather for Atlanta to win their 100th game. It's the top of the seventh with no score. Can they beat the cold and Philadelphia? Philadelphia.